turn out in North Korea, where leader Kim Jong-un told state media he's preparing for a long confrontation with the U.S. after launching North Korea's largest ever intercontinental ballistic missile today. The missile test drew international condemnation, and experts believe North Korea is capable of hitting the east coast of the United States. CBS's David Martin has more from the Pentagon. For the first time since this launch more than four years ago, North Korea has tested a long-range missile capable of reaching the United States. And raised concerns Kim Jong-un could soon have an ICBM armed with multiple nuclear warheads. The commander of American Air Defenses told Congress the day may be coming when he can no longer shoot down incoming North Korean missiles. I'm comfortable with where we are today. Going forward, I do believe that they could exceed my capacity and capabilities. South Korea responded with missile tests of its own, and President Biden interrupted his NATO summit to confer with Japan's prime minister about the launch. It was fired on a lofted trajectory that took it 3,700 miles into space and 670 miles into the Sea of Japan higher and farther than any other North Korean missile has flown. Jeffrey Lewis of the Middlebury Institute explains what would happen if it were fired on a normal trajectory. This missile would have traveled 12,000 kilometers, which is more than enough to get from Pyongyang to D.C. The U.S. has invested billions of dollars in a missile defense system that can defend against North Korean missiles but not against missiles that can carry multiple warheads. What that gives North Korea is the ability to overwhelm U.S. missile defenses. President Biden stressed the need for diplomacy, but the hard facts are decades of negotiations and sanctions have not convinced North Korea to give up its nuclear weapons. Nora? David Martin with that scary story tonight. Thank you.